your expiry date to change option in SAP T code is MSC2N so here we just need to enter the item code once you put the T code we will be getting the below screen so we have to enter the item code batch number and enter it so we will be getting the new screen for change option so whenever we are entering the item code and batch number uh, if any plant is showing just delete the plant ID we don't need to, to enter a plant ID here so once we select the batch what is the latest uh, uh, expiry date is available that will display by system so here this item is already updated just we are showing the display so the next item we are going to update the expiry date so there is a search option also available you can put the item code and batch partially and then put star and you can uh, uh, search the batch also there is option is available or you can enter the batch directly here so the plant we are deleting here yeah the second line item first is the manufacturing date no need to change anything only the expiry date we are going to change it just change the expiry date and we are going to save it yeah so this is already saved so we'll show the another item so which is not updated so you can see that actual expiry date what need to be entered that is user is showing in the screenshot so system suggestion we are getting a pop-up there so we need to ensure uh, if uh, the user is given the expiry date is correct or not then only we need to go and change it if it's a one day something 30th or 31st it's coming so then we can suggest the user no need to change they can follow the SPS system uh, uh, suggested uh, suggested expiry date so if there's any huge change in the date or a mon uh, month uh, so then we need to change it so for the patient's uh, implant or anything the batch number is not there uh, it should be there if it is not there for screw or something we can suggest the team to enter the patient uh, MRN number for non batch item we can uh, non medical item we can go with the uh, date thank you